got myself to my suppressor from my 22 long rifle. We're gonna go ahead and see what kind of changes this makes to the grouping pattern. We'll have group patterns of a clean rifle. We'll have grouping patterns of a clean rifle with a clean suppressor. And we'll have grouping patterns of a clean rifle, but a dirty suppressor. So this is about as low tech as it gets. I had different lot numbers I was trying out. And so I, I did all the dirty suppressors first and went through those, then cleaned out the rifle. So all I'm doing here is I just combined my dirty shots. And once again, I went through the 058, the 502, the 503, cleaned out the rifle, and then now I'm taking the, the clean shots. So here's the clean. And for comparison, I also did uh, another round with the uh, no suppressor at all. There we go. So that was no suppressor for the comparison. All right, so there's my clean shots, my dirty suppressor, and no suppressor. Let you look at those a couple more times here. Clean suppressor, dirty suppressor, no suppressor. So there is a definite change with the suppressor being clean or dirty here. So this is my next lot number of 502. And we'll see what happens with that. Clean, dirty, no suppressor. Looks pretty similar to the last one here. Clean, dirty, no suppressor. How about that? And we'll go ahead and we'll move along. Next one, 503, there's the dirty suppressor. Clean suppressor, no suppressor. Same exact pattern. Try it again here, dirty, clean, no suppressor. Exact same pattern. So before I did the previous shots, I was just trying to see, was there a difference with the suppressor or not? So this was the round four, uh, had a dirty suppressor and no suppressor. That's all that I did starting out. So with the round four, the dirty suppressor, and no suppressor. Looked at the results, once again combined them, and there was a drop in elevation using the dirty suppressor. So it did make a difference, caught my interest, and started doing more testing. I moved down to round five. I'm doing some data mining here, uh, but looking back, looked at the suppressed and non-suppressed and did the same thing, combined them, and saw a very similar picture here. So this was the suppressed, very dirty, and no suppressor. After establishing there was a difference between the clean suppressor and the rifle, moved out to 100 yards and wanted to see what the doping change should be, and took our suppressor shot and was a little bit high, so we dropped it down 0.1 mil, that put us on where we should be. And this was the non-suppressed rifle and it was down shooting low. So we raised this one up 0.1 mil. So there was a 0.2 mil difference between the two at 100 yards. Now I moved back to 200 yards and the ballistics calculator said to change the dope to 5.8 and it actually should have been around six. So adjusted that after the low shots and the wind was you now between zero and five miles per hour so there's a little bit of uh, wind happening here so pulled the suppressor off and took these shots and uh, had the dope at 6.2 might have been still a little low uh, but there's about a 0.2 maybe 0.3 mil difference between the suppressed and non-suppressed I threw the template that we've been using over this, so you can get an idea. That's about a two and a half inch group there, elevation and with the suppressor. The suppressor actually did a little better, I would have to say, on the grouping size than the no suppressor, um, although it wasn't a, a big change, but uh, it certainly wasn't worse with the suppressor on any of the shots. So, a couple of uh, conclusions on the suppressor. 
One, it does change the point of impact a little. I'd have to say it does not change the overall grouping size. It certainly doesn't make it worse. Um, didn't measure them real tight to see if it made them better or not, but it was pretty close. That, that wouldn't sway me one way or the other from using the suppressor. Um, I think it is a good idea if you're going to use it to keep it nice and clean. And I'll have to maybe try to do a video to see how many shots it takes before we actually start seeing the accuracy decrease. I don't know the answer to that one yet. Uh, besides that, I think that one's kind of a wrap. So maybe chime in, see if you guys have a different result with your gun. Uh, yeah. Until next time, shoot straight.